Urban legends are some of the most interesting components of pop culture, fascinating the masses with their mysterious themes and giving way to even more extraordinary reinterpretations. And because the world of video gaming is such a big part of our lives, it has its fair share of such uncanny stories that fascinate the audience. And in what follows, we'll try to get you extra spooked with our five best video game creepypastas of all time. The longest and most famous, perhaps, video game related creepypasta of all time, NES Godzilla, tells a truly disturbing story that involves heavy topics such as suicide and insanity. Without spoiling this urban legend too much, we can tell you that it features the story of a player who bought a new Courage of Godzilla, Monster of Monsters, and found a ton of disturbing elements during the gameplay, including, but not limited to, demonic creatures, scenes of mutilation and abuse, and even cryptic messages about a dead girlfriend. The legend of the creepy Lavender Town goes like this. A chilling music that contained high frequency tones that only young people could hear boomed all over this creepy town, the disturbing tone leading to 200 child suicides in Japan, most of them taking their lives by hanging themselves. This insane creepypasta has the potential to really send shivers down your spine, its extremely unsettling premise keeping many gamers up at night but also making them curious to visit the accursed Lavender Town from Pokemon Red and Blue. A very popular creepypasta in the world of video gaming, Ben Drowned or Haunted Majora's Mask, follows the same trope of a player who bought a used game cartridge and when he started playing it, he found out that it was possessed by the spirit of its former owner named, you guessed it, Ben. Amongst the most notable eerie happenings that take place during the gameplay is a creepy statue that follows the player around, ominous music that starts playing out of nowhere, and unexplained situations where Link suddenly combusts into flames, being repeatedly killed in this horrid way. After the release of Mario 64, word had it that Nintendo was planning to release a sequel that should have been more in the lifelike side of things, featuring scenes of increased realism and violence. Even though Miyamoto claimed it was never about a full game but just some test concepts, some resourceful gamer boasted that he tried to play it and he was left in total shock. The appearance of a monstrous Bowser who demands Mario's death and even ends up eating him, Mario entering a house where he finds two children's skeletons on the sofa and many more such despicable things are said to have been featured in what was called called Mario 128. Pretty much like in every respectable horror movie, the scenario of Sonic.exe Creepypasta is based on the classical story of someone who is given a CDR with the game and told to destroy it, and under no circumstances should they ever think of playing it. Of course, the protagonist does the exact opposite and finds himself in a glitchy game where only Tails, Knuckles and Dr. Robotnik are playable characters, Sonic being the dark villain who is following them through the levels trying to kill them. The blue speedster has crazy bleeding eyes and becomes so deviant that he starts to threaten the player and tries to break out of the TV to get him. Luckily, the game shuts down in the end, but when the player thinks all this hell is finally done, a sonic toy with bleeding eyes appears next to him on his bed. This was our list featuring some very interesting gaming creepypastas of all time. Make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons because it helps us immensely, and why not leave a comment below whilst you're at it. You can also check out GameByte.com for even more from the world of gaming, but until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.